Hey everybody, the Angry Canuck coming to you from Nova Scotia, Canada. The Angry Canuck on YouTube. You are watching TJV, Chuck or Josh Vlogs. Good morning everybody from Kenora, Ontario. I've got a 53 foot step deck here behind me. I'm going to be putting some lumber on it. I'm going to put a tarp over the lumber. And we're going to head down to, I'm guessing, Minnesota. I actually don't even know where it's going yet. They just told me to be here in the morning. And voila. Here I am. What are your other two wishes? What I can tell you, though, is that it's going to be a good day. Look at this. The sun is shining. It's definitely fall time now. The mornings are getting pretty cool. Even this last night, I had to turn my bunk heater on. In the truck it got a little bit cold the leaves are starting to change color these are evergreens here so uh they're not going to back me up all all of these are oh down here look the smaller ones follow my shadow look at this see that it has begun and i don't know how i feel about that I like fall time because of the nice cool evenings and cool mornings. Bonfires and hoodies. I love fall. I just I can't help but think that winter comes right after fall. I don't mean to ruin your day. Okay, I promise you it's going to be a good day anyway. I usually like late spring, early summer the best. Right when all the crops are starting to grow. When everything just turned green and is like fully lush and green, all the flowers are blooming, everybody's all excited for the whole summer ahead yet and fall after that, and winter is so far away, it's not even a thought in anyone's head. That's why that's my favorite season. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but on my channel, on the main page, you go to the playlist section, or even on my main page, just scroll down. <clears throat> I have created a bunch of new playlists. Now there's still the one playlist called uh, TJV from the beginning. It's all of my vlogs from all of time since I started counting. I mean, there's two years in there where I wasn't counting yet, but we'll deal with that another day. From the beginning of my trucking life, episode one, all the way up until this episode, which is, I think is 2620, 2620. They're all in one playlist. You can watch them all in order if you want to. Or if you'd rather watch it by year, I started keeping track in the beginning of 2014. I have videos going all the way back to 2011. I'm just sorting through them right now because I don't mind posting my cringy first content. I just want to see how cringy they are first. I got to rewatch them and be like, we'll see. 2014 is when we officially started this series. So 2014 was season one. So when I'm filming this, we're in the year of our Lord 2022, which is season nine of my trucking life on Trucker Josh Vlogs. And you can go and watch them each season if you want to. Like, what did I do in 2015? What was I doing in 2017? They're all in the playlists on my main page there. If, if you want to check them out, if that helps, let me know. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter, but I thought it'd be nice to organize that all, even if it's just for my own sake. But I really think it'll make it easier for people to follow along that way. I, I, I put a little bit of effort into it. Let's go get our load. Our load this week looks very similar to the loads last week, right? Pretty much the same thing. It is different underneath there, but it looks the same, right? So let's not waste any time. Let's get going. Brainerd, Minnesota. They unload until 10 p.m. So we will be unloaded tonight yet.
once again just rolled through Deer River, Minnesota. Becoming a little bit of a familiar route for me, isn't it? I'm gonna turn south down Minnesota 6. It's been a, it's a nice little route to have, you know? I like that the place that I deliver to in Brainerd is open till 10 p.m. I'm gonna get there around uh, whew, 7 30 or so tonight, maybe 8 o'clock. And at least I know they'll still unload me, right? I don't have a reload. I was really hoping to be able to point my nose in one direction or another and maybe get to my next shipper tonight. But nothing came through the line. So they know I'm out here and they'll probably contact me first thing in the morning with directions. Just if they are going to send me back up to Kenora, which is possible. I mean, uh, I could have gotten all the way back there tonight yet. I would have had the hours to do that, or at least pretty close to it. But maybe they're waiting on something down here, you know? Maybe they got something really good, really high paying lined up, and they're just waiting on confirmation or something. You never know. I got my last coffee for free. It always makes your day when that happens. In Canada, if you're in the Timmy's lineup and the person in front of you pays for your pays for your coffee, makes your week, makes your month, makes you feel like a million bucks. And you're supposed to pay, pay it forward and do it for someone behind you, right? Whether on that day or another day. But today, every now and then, I, I, I end up at a truck stop or a gas station, I just have a coffee. And I bring my coffee up to the counter and they look at me and they either just give me a nod and say, you're good, have a good day. Or they ask me if I want anything else or if I have gas outside and I'm like, no, just a coffee. And they just say, have a good day. And they give me a free coffee. Thank you to all the wonderful, wonderful gas station and truck stop cashiers that do that. You have no idea how much that can lift up a driver. A long day of driving and just a simple free coffee just makes you feel great. There's a dog on the side of the road there. Look like a puppy. Oh no. Ah. You're lucky I'm in a big truck, bud. Can't just turn around that quickly. Oh, I hope he stays off the road. Mm. I'd like to go back there and see if I can find out who owns them. Wag my finger at them. Keep your dog off the highway. Give me a heart attack. One of my biggest pet peeves. Oh. Actually, I have a lot of pet peeves. You guys have been watching me long enough, you're all just laughing. Oh, there's another pet peeve! Yeah, it's another one. There are many. Nothing like the taste of free coffee coursing through your veins and the sound of the Jake breaks. That's exciting. Hey, Mr. Dodge, it's still a solid line. Okay, I'll forgive you. So 75 miles, 130 kilometers. Rip these tarps off gently and roll them up nicely. Now I'll get those straps and equipment off the load and they can get this lumber off of me. At least I'll go to the truck stop tonight and sleep there with an empty trailer. Probably gonna go to the Casey's in Pilger, Minnesota again. 
That is a common stop for me. If you live in the area, keep an eye out for my truck if you're ever uh, passing by there. I, apparently I come down here quite a bit. This seems to be like a new, uh, new routine for this, for this time, for the time being. We'll see how long, I don't mind it actually. I'm, I kind of like it. It's a nice little loop. Getting a little chiller, chillier out at night, eh? A little chiller. I've had to break out the hoodie twice already. The leaves are starting to change color. I think I just showed that to you like in today or yesterday, today's video, right? Huh. Well, we made it to Brainerd and we got unloaded. So we have an empty trailer behind us and uh, we got no direction for tomorrow yet. I mean, if I'm going back to Kenora, I mean, they're, they're, they're weighing a few different options. That's why I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I just went to Pillager, Minnesota down the road and uh, there's my Casey's truck stop there. I call it my truck stop because that's my favorite spot to stop in that area. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. They send us back to Kenora, they send us back to Kenora. It would be a good run to do like back and forth because you can get from here back to Kenora and then back down here in one day or from Kenora down here and then back to Kenora and then load the next day, right? So technically you could do one load per day. Yeah, we'll see. We'll probably be on this for a little while, uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm guessing I'll probably be going back to Kenora tomorrow. And, uh, you know, in the coming weeks, we'll see what they have for us. I'm tired though, it's been a long day. Uh, I rushed through the unloading, that's why I didn't film any of it. I, I, <laughs> I got unloaded, got my tarps off, got my straps off as fast as I could. Got unloaded and got back to the truck stop here because I just, I just want to relax. It's been a long day. It felt like a long day, it wasn't actually that long of a day when it felt like a long day. So thanks for hanging out, and thanks for hanging out every day. Don't forget, down uh, below in the description is links to all my social media, everywhere you can find me on the internet. Also, if you want to go through my vlogs from the beginning of when I started keeping track, I started making videos in 2011, but this series called My Trucking Life, uh, I started in 2014, or a little before that, but I've arranged them all into playlists by year or seasons now. So I started in 2014 as season one. Everything before that will be like pre-TJV or pre-My Trucking Life. I'm going to organize that all yet. But I've gotten these vlogs all organized now for you. So we're in Season 9 right now. 2022. So 2023 will be Season 10. So if you want to go back to Season 1 and watch it year by year, how I've changed. I grew a bit more facial hair. I got married. We moved a couple of times. <laughs> Lots happened in these last uh, nine seasons. So I've, I've made that all, I've organized that all there for you. Let me know what you think, go check it out. Um, hopefully it'll help. There's still the main playlist there. That's everything from start to finish if you want one whole playlist. But I'm trying to make things a little easier to find because I have like 3000 videos on the internet and I wanna make sure that you can find what you're looking for. If you're looking for some old TJV, you can find some old stuff in my playlist. If you wanna see like what was Josh doing in 2017? Well, there's a playlist for that now. I believe that'll be 14, 15, 16, 17. season four of Trucker Josh. It's uh, in the playlist on my main page. Go to my main page, scroll down, bunch of playlists. I think there's a link you click playlist. Or something like that. Yeah, let me know what you think of that. And uh, I'll see what I can do with the older, older vlogs. Some of it's pretty cringy. And I'm not afraid of uh, releasing some cringy old content to you. I just want to go through it all because I haven't watched it in about 11 years. So, life is very different now than it was then. I'll slowly go through it all and I'll be releasing those old videos one at a time and uh, maybe sharing it out on my social media when I do. Uh, that'll be on Facebook, that's my main platform that I use the most. I also share onto Twitter, Instagram. I don't use Snapchat. I don't like that app, I don't use it at all, but I have one. TikTok, I, I, I have a TikTok. I'm uh, I'm uh, a dabble. You can go find me there. Uh, links and everything are down below the description of every single one of my videos. If you want to reach out to me, don't message me on Facebook Messenger. I don't check those messages. 
you gotta, if you wanna reach me about something, you gotta email me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. The best way to get a hold of me because I don't check all my messages because I literally get about 500 messages a day through all of my platforms. I don't check my messages on Instagram. I don't check my messages on Facebook. I don't use Twitter much, so I don't get many messages there. But uh, if you tweet me, I'll be able to see that. But if it's a direct message, I may not see that. So if you want to direct message me, my email is the, the best place to get a hold of me. And that's where you can send your intros to. You see those intros at the beginning of all my videos? Like, hey, my name is this and I'm from here. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. You don't have to say exactly that. You can make it personal. You can shout out your own YouTube channel. If you've got a business or something, oh, take a second to shout out your business. Tell us what you're all about. Show us something you're proud of that you made. Make it make it about you, okay? That make it like 30 seconds or less or a little more. It doesn't matter if it was a little over. Just don't make it like five minutes. A five minute intro is a little bit much. Uh, maybe even one minute might man, keep it under a minute. But yeah, tell us a little bit about you. You can send those to my email address, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Link is down below in the description. Send me your intros. Uh, if you if you sent me one before, you can send me more. I don't, I don't mind posting more than one. If you want to keep making them, I'll keep posting them in front of my videos. I love including you in my video and in my content like that. I, I think that's pretty awesome. And then you also get to see yourself on the screen. That's pretty cool. We can work together that way. And I can get to know you a little bit like you know me. Even if it is just a little bit. Take care, everybody. I look forward to your intros, and I will talk to you later.